All right. So what do you think? Question number one, select an option. So because this question is of metals, think about this picture that metals had. In that picture, you had cations which were fixed in their place and electrons which were moving around. And they were free, right? So because electrons are moving around, so agar ek electron bahit chala jayega, to uski jaga dusra electron a jayega. So the correct option for this will be that electrons are replaced by new electrons. But positive electrons are not. Positive ions are fixed in their place. So our answer would be that positive ions are unchanged, but electrons are fixed. So that's B. So I'll write B here. One thing about ionic compounds, thank you, Raha, for pointing it out, that ionic compounds are good conductors as liquid or solution, which means that if they are molten, they will conduct. And why is that? Because when they are molten, this lattice breaks down. There's no lattice. So all the ions are free. And that is the reason that we give. So free ions. In fact, it is better to mention ions here as well. That why are they not conducting as solid? Because they don't have free ions. But when they melt, when the lattice is no longer there, then they will conduct because they have free ions. So bad conductors as solid and good conductors as liquid. All ionic compounds do that. So, and you can see if anything has, it is a bad conductor as solid, does not conduct as solid, but conducts as liquid. That means something has changed. Some free ions or electrons are available. And in ionic compounds, it's a free ions. Okay, let's look at the second question. What do you think? What is the answer to this question? Question number two. Again, this question is about metallic bonding. So in metals, what did we have? We had free electrons. So electrons are able to move around, but they do not have positive ions that move. So positive ions don't move. Electrons move. Do we have ions? Positive ions, yes. Negative ions, no. So we don't have any positive negative ions. So ye to ho sakta. Ye bhi ho sakta. And positive ions are not moving. And the examiner says, what is the movement? So movement is of electron only. So that is our answer. Let's see the next one. Okay. What do you think? Answer to question three. Okay. So I've received two answers. Let's see. First statement says metal that metals consist of, sorry, metals contain lattice of negative ions and C of electrons. This is wrong. Metals have C of electron. Yes. Metals have lattice. Yes. But there is positive ion, not negative ion. So this part is wrong. So statement one is wrong. Okay. So statement one is wrong means ye option. Hai paas. But let's look at say statement two. The electrical conductivity of metal is related to mobility. Mobility means movement of electrons in the structure. Yes, electrons move and that is why they conduct. So statement two is correct. Statement one is wrong. Okay. Let's look at this option. What happens when sodium chloride melts? Yes, Taha, you had a question. What happens when sodium chloride melts? Now, from the name, you can see that it has sodium ions and it has chloride ions. So it is ionic bonding. So ionic bonding has lattice. When they melt, the lattice is broken. The force of attraction is overcome, which is why they're able to break the lattice. So yes, the answer is going to be C because it is the ionic bonding that is broken. There is no covalent bond. There is no transfer of electron when it melts. There is transfer of electron when it forms, but not when it melts. And the question is about melting. If the question said, okay, what happens when sodium chloride is made? Answer will be B, because electrons are released from atoms. But because the question is, okay, melt or that is not when it, electrons transfer. When it melts, the lattice breaks. The forces of, over, of attraction are overcome. So the answer is C. Okay, let's look at the next one. In which of the following is there a layer of sorry lattice of positive ions in a sea of electrons? Examiner pooch kya Examiner is simply asking us kin me metal concept. That's it. That's what they're asking. So the metal is D. Okay, let's see this one. Which statement about ionic compound is correct? What do you think? Go on, answer it. 
what do ionic compounds have? Always go back to the diagram. There's lattice of positive and negative electrons, positive and negative all around it. So let's see, ionic compounds conduct electricity when solid because they contain charged particles. They don't have charged particle that can move. As a solid, they are fixed in their lattice. So this one is wrong. Ionic compounds consist of lattice of positive and negative ions. That is correct. That is the structure that we have. Option C, most ionic compounds are solid at room temperature. Yes, because strong attraction, yes, between electron and positive ion. No, 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 that is metals. They have between negative ions and positive ions. Metals have electrons and positive ions. Okay, last one. When molten or in aqueous solution, ionic compound, aqueous means dissolved in water. What's happening? Ionic compounds conduct electricity because they contain electrons that can move. Again, when they are molten, the ions are free. So ions can move. They cannot move. Electrons are move. Electrons are inside the ions. So it is the ions that move. So but because of this reason, the answer is B. Question number seven. Let's try. Which statement is correct for all metals? Remember, metals key properties and their reasons. They're hard and brittle. Brittle means something that breaks easily. Metals don't break easily. They are soft and strong. They're made up of lattice of positive and negative ions. No, they're made of positive ions and electrons. They connect electricity by movement of electron. Yes, that is correct. Question eight. An ionic compound has will come to formulas later. Which diagram best represents structure of solid metal? Remember, metals me kya tha? Cations with random electrons. So based on this. I think the answer should be B because there's layers of ions. Ye layers of ions. Hai. Yes, layers. Hai. But electrons are randomly. Hai. But this is not good. Because this may electrons ki bhi layers. Hai usne. So this doesn't seem right. They don't have negative ions. So, ye to ho sakta. so then most likely option would be C. Although it's not electrons are unki random arrangement on each but based on this out of these options yes sabse better hai. what is wrong with this one can anybody tell me both sides are positive and there's one negative so both sides are attracting uh negative ions so uh there's, there's no, no free moving ions. electrons there's free moving electrons you're right but there's no negative ions here but the problem with this one is that is showing positive ions joined with positive ions. They cannot join. They will repel each other. And secondly, electrons should be between the ions. They can't just be on the outside. They should be in the middle as well. Okay, let's look at this option. Element X has a lattice of positive ions and C of electron. Okay, it's a metal, definitely. Which property will it have? So metals properties. It connects electricity by movement of ions and electrons. Nope. It only moves by electrons. It has high melting point. Yes, metals have high melting point. It is decomposed by electric current. No, electric current doesn't do anything to it. It just transferred current. It does not change. It's a physical property. It is not malleable. Of course, metals are malleable. So answer is still B. Okay, let's look at this one. The structure of sodium chloride is drawn below. I'll take five minutes more. Sodium chloride is an ionic solid. Draw the electronic structure of sodium ion and chloride ion. So remember, it's the ion. So that means, what's the electrons? Sodium has two, eight. So sodium Na, don't draw a circle for nucleus. First shell, two electrons. Second shell, eight electrons. Third shell empty, so I don't need to draw it. 
and square brackets because it is iron. And for chloride, again, Cl in the middle, no nuclear circle. For shell, two electrons. I can use circles or I can use crosses. It's up to you, but prefer to use different symbols. You will not lose marks if you use the same symbols, but it is always a good idea to use different symbols. So two, eight, and then last one is also eight because it is iron, remember? So one, two, three, four, and one electron that it has taken from sodium. So again, square brackets with negative charge. Sodium chloride has a melting point of 800. Explain why melting point is high. So the keyword is explain, which means I need to give reason. So I'll say there is strong. It has... Yeah, yeah, go on. Well, because it has a giant lattice structure. Ab dekho. It has giant lattice structure. Yes. But what is melting point? Kya tha Kuch bhi nahi. Melting point is about energy. So there's strong force of attraction that is overcome or that can be overcome with high energy. And because of that high energy, it has high melting point. So lattice hona ya na hona is not the reason for high melting point. It is the force of attraction which ko overcome karne ke liye, break down karne ke liye, high energy chahi. That's the reason. So in the exam, always pinpoint to the reason. Okay, let's look at this next one. Magnesium oxide has a similar structure to sodium chloride. I mean, it's the same thing. So this is why the melting point of magnesium oxide is higher. And again, we have to give a reason. So that's why I mean, reason. Dein. So why does anything have high melting point? Because of strong force of attraction. So just like Bilawal said that zyada barish hoti hai, zyada pani aata hai. Just like that. Agar zyada melting point hai, to energy bhi zyada chahi. The force of traction is even higher. So we'll say that magnesium oxide, I'm writing MgO for that, but don't worry, you're not required to know formulas at the moment. MgO has stronger force of attraction than NaCl, sodium chloride. And that is why you need more energy. Yes, Tha? Then we have three marks in question. We have three marks in question. MGO has stronger force of attraction than NaCl. Okay, marks are for the points that you make. I have made my point. For this one, this was two mark question and one mark for this one. So the two marks, one mark is for Kate has strong force of attraction and one mark is for high energy, which is about the melting point. So one mark is point, one mark is point, one mark is Similarly here, the key word was that anything has high melting point because of strong force of attraction and MGO has higher. So one mark is coming. So Pure marks are mil gay. So space fill can as a three. So you have three lick over. Yes, three for the whole thing. So two for this, one for this. Explain why solid sodium chloride will not conduct lexity, but molten will. Now, a problem with students explaining this question is that they part answer. This question has one part about solid. And one part about molten. So, do no answer then. So, we'll say that. Electrolysis ka definition makes it compare. Kiska? Electrolysis. We don't need to discuss the... electrolysis right now. No, I mean, like electrolysis, I mean, uh, pass, passing of electricity in either a molten or aqueous state. Yeah. So, which can the free moving electrons with them. So, more. Free moving ions. Uh, free moving ions, so more surface area, so more, so they conduct electricity. So here's the thing, job me bola, that's absolutely correct, but not relevant. So the question says explain, which means give a reason. We have to give a reason, that's it. We don't have to say ke wo karta kya hai. we have to give the reason ke wo kyun karta hai. So explain why solid sodium chloride will not conduct electricity. We just tell why it does not. We don't need to give it name. We don't need to give any definitions. No. Examiner ki requirement hai ke reason bada. So we'll be like, ke dekhe, 
solid has ions fixed in place or ions that are not free or fixed in the lattice but molten has free ya mobile bhi keh sakte ho ions so we have given the reason ki solid kyu nahi karta because solid has ions that are fixed ions that are not free and molten kyu karta hai because molten has free ions we have exactly given the requirements and that is the whole point kabhi bhi aapne question ke irrelevant baat karne ki zarurat hi nahi we only have one and half hour or one or depending on which paper you're doing some have 45 minutes some have one hour 15 minutes हमारे पास थोड़ा सा वक्त है थोड़ी सी स्पेस है वी डोंट नीड टू गिव एनी थिंग दैट्स एक्स्ट्रा बी वेरी पिन पॉइंट ओके लेट्स लुक एट दिस वन ऑक्सीजन रिएक्ट्स विद मैग्नीशियम टू फॉर्म मैग्नीशियम ऑक्साइड ड्रॉ डायग्राम्स टू शो द कंप्लीट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ बोथ आयंस सो लेट्स सी ऑक्सीजन के पास कितने हैं ऑक्सीजन हैज टू इन द फर्स्ट शेल एंड सिक्स इन द लैक शेल सो टू हेड सिक्स हेड एंड लेट्स लुक एट मैग्नीशियम मैग्नीशियम has two in the first shell eight in the second shell and two in the last shell but what happens these are atoms and the examiner wants me to draw it for ions so what will happen is that these two electrons will move these two they will move and they will come to oxygen so i'll say ki ye oxygen ke paas aa gaye aur uska shell khali ho gaya aur i can just remove the shell and now i have ions एंड आयंस के लिए आपने हमेशा स्क्वेर ब्रैकेट एंड चार्जेस ना वाई डिड आई राइट पॉजिटिव टू बिकॉज इट लॉस्ट टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स वाई डिड आई राइट नेगेटिव टू बिकॉज इट गेन टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सो वन मार्क इज फॉर करेक्टली ड्रॉ ओके सो दास्ट क्वेश्चन द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ सोडियम क्लोराइड एंड नाइट्रोजन आर शोन बिलो सो सोडियम क्लोराइड ये आपके सामने इट हैज लैटेस्ट Describe the structure and bonding, and the difference in their volatility and electrical conductivity. Okay, so describe means कि आपने उसके बारे में बताना है. Reason नहीं देनी. No reason required. So let's see. I'm just going to talk about sodium chloride now, not nitrogen because we haven't studied nitrogen right now. So for sodium chloride, we know that in sodium chloride there is fixed lattice of ions with strong force of attraction notice what i did i have talked about structure kyunki fixed lattice hai i have talked about bonding there is strong force of attraction so uh, is it volatile no so it is less volatile because volatile means jiske particles can move around easily this strong force of attraction ye move nahi kar sakta and सेम रीजन आयंस मूव नहीं करेंगे तो कंडक्ट भी नहीं करेंगे सो एंड बैड कंडक्टर दैट्स इट आई गिवन द रीजन एंड आई टॉक्ट अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर एंड बॉन्डिंग मैंने वॉलिटिलिटी को भी डिस्कस कर लिया कि वो लेस वॉलिटाइल है एंड देर इलेक्ट्रिकल कंडक्टिविटी बैड कंडक्टर एंड द रीजन इज स्ट्रक्चर लैटिस्फाइंस एंड बॉन्डिंग फॉर स्ट्रॉन्ग फॉर सोट्रैक्शन 